Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today I have my very first Tropical Candle Haul of the year. Very exciting. Uh, I purchased the Tropical Collection from Goose Creek the other week, and they just arrived today. I wasn't expecting them today, actually. Uh, it'd been a while since I'd ordered them, and they sent an email yesterday saying they shipped, and here they are. So, was not expecting them to show up today, and I was like, well, let's get the backdrop switched over to Valentine's and, you know, maybe do a couple candle reviews, things like that. Uh, and then there was a knock at the door, and I'm like, when there's a knock at the door, it's usually a candle haul. So uh, I was so excited to get these candles, and they all arrived in great condition. They are gorgeous, you guys. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I had a little bit of time to uh, look at these labels first before getting on here and talking with you. Uh, so let's get right into it, you guys. Uh, I believe there are 10 candles in the Tropical Collection right now, or at least there were 10 online that I could purchase, and I bought a total of 11. I bought two of, the, of one of the candles. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is Lush Getaway. And it just has a really nice purple with the palm fronds. Real pretty. <laughs> and one thing I'm really excited about, you guys, is they've put the scent notes printed on the bottom of the candle. This is the uh, first candle collection that I have received this year from Goose Creek that actually has them printed on the bottom so that really just helps me out a lot <laughs> saves a little time for me a little bit of work when talking about the set notes uh your set notes on lush getaway are strawberry sugar pink raspberry colorful clouds cashmere and soft citrus it is a softer fragrance it's definitely on the light side um there's like a light strawberry sugary smell very soft smelling uh, it's a nice fragrance, but I am a little worried that this is going to be uh, a light throwing candle. But uh, smells good. Smells a little light though. Very pretty jar style. And the next one is Jasmine Cabana. Real pretty again. These just are. They did a nice job with these labels, you guys. Very very pretty. <laughs> This one is Cabana Woods, Coconut, Jasmine Blooms, Lily, and Citrus. Okay. I'm surprised I like this. Uh, jasmine usually is one of those fragrances that's a little too strong for me, but the jasmine in this is much lighter, and there's a like a kind of like a little bit of a fruity fragrance, uh, and like a little grassy note. Let's see here. I guess that would be the Cabana Woods maybe. Yeah, I like that. It's it's a little bit light, but that might be a good thing with that jasmine in there. So that one smells really good, you guys. Kind of um like uh, tropical spring smelling. Uh, that's yeah, that one's nice. Okay, volcanic sunrise, and I know this one was out last year. Uh, you know these are all new for me because I didn't buy any of the tropical collection last year from Goose Creek. So even though a lot of these are repackages for me, they're new. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, this one is orange, grapefruit, strawberry, and lime. Oh, now this, this one I really like. Wow. You do get the orange and the lime, the strawberry. Mm, I don't know if I really pick up the grapefruit so much. There's a lot of citrus in there with the uh, strawberry. Mmm, that smells so good, though. This smells like a fruity, tropical drink. They taste so natural and fruit-like. <laughs> So that one's really nice, and I love the colors they did for the jar style. Uh, let's see here. Next is uh, Cliffside Sea Spray. And this is saltwater, ocean air, blooms, soft fur, lemon, and white woods. So you get that fresh ocean air fragrance, but there is like a slight cologne, like a cologne fragrance to this one. I'm not usually big on um, cologne or perfumey scents. It's not a bad scent, but like like I said, I'm not big on cologne. So um, that one so far would probably be my least favorite of the of the group we smelled so far. Uh, next is Banana Cabana Beach. All the bananas and 
banana leaves on there. This is banana, tangerine, coconut, and sea breeze. Oh yeah, very banana-y. <laughs> this smells... This smells very similar to something at Bath and Body Works. Hang on, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to go into my summer candle collection, and uh, this Banana Cabana Beach smells basically identical to Under the Sun that we got last year from Bath & Body Works, you guys, if you remember Under the Sun. So that sweet coconut, sunny banana, warm jasmine. Yeah, these two candles are like, I don't know, almost like twins. <laughs> So if you had Under the Sun and liked it, then you'll like Banana Cabana Beach or vice versa. If this comes back, this Under the Sun, you'll like it if you like Banana Cabana Beach. <laughs> so yeah, that's, yeah, that's like basically a dupe. Well, does that get confusing? Uh, let's see here. Next up is Tiki Party, and I just love the jar style for Tiki Party. Love the colors, the parrot, just so pretty. Uh, this one is mango, lychee, coconut, and beech wood. Oh, I like that too. I'm really liking most of these candles, you guys. A lot of these smell really good. Mmm. It's just like a fruity, tropical drink. Boy, I'll say. I just can't decide which one I like better, the white chi-chi or the pink one. Mmm. This one reminds me of Sunset in Maui that Bath & Body Works had out last year. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I know we're getting Sunset Maui back this year, which I'm very happy about. But uh, if they weren't, I mean, at least I have this Tiki Party that I could that I could get to be kind of a nice replacement for that. Uh, let's see here. Next, they're saying this one is new. It's called Honolulu Ice Cream, and I just love the label. So I ended up getting two of them because I do like my foodie kind of fragrances, and they said it's new, so... I thought I'd buy two, and that way, if I like it, I'll have two, and if I don't like it, well, you know, wah, wah. <laughs> So this one says it's graham cracker, vanilla ice cream, juicy pineapple, and sugar. Now, I've already smelled this one, you guys, because I was so excited when I got here. I had to smell it, and I've learned something already about this candle. You have to kind of let this one air out because the graham cracker, when you first open the lid, is really, really strong. So... Yeah, if you just initially smell this candle right after taking the lid off, you just get, like, inundated with this graham cracker smell, and it's not its not really a good thing, in my opinion. It's kind of cardboard smelling, the graham cracker fragrance. Oh, no, no! But, just hold on a second here. In a minute, it's like, that kind of dissipates, and... You're left with all this like yummy pineapple, a little creaminess to it. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as saying this smells like an ice cream scent, but there is a slight creamy fragrance in with the pineapple, and it's sweet, and you really don't get that graham cracker fragrance as heavy as it was when you first take the lid off. But I've noticed that on both of these candles that uh, that graham cracker is really strong when you first take the lid off. And then um, it just kind of dissipates a little bit, and you get more of that sweet, creamy pineapple. Uh, it smells pretty good. Let's not make any snap judgments. Uh, you know, I'll have to test this one out. This is one I'm really interested in doing a candle review on. But it doesn't quite smell like ice cream to me. I'm cold anyways. Okay, next up is papaya leaf and bamboo. Lots of papaya there on this label. Uh, this one is Bamboo Woods, Juicy Pineapple, Sweet Mango, and Rainwater. So this one, I wasn't expecting it to smell like this. I was really expecting, like, a lot of mango and papaya. And really, it's more of, like, a um, kind of a grassy, fresh rain fragrance with just a light fruit, like a light tropical fruit smell. I like that. I like uh, that it's not so heavy on the mango, actually. That's actually very nice. Uh, it's another one that kind of smells like a spring tropical fragrance to me. 
And then we have this uh, emerald palm. I love the green they did for this emerald palm. Very pretty label. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. This is palm leaf, woods, jasmine, pineapple, apple, and melon. Okay, so this one's very, very light. Oklahoma. I get the apple and the melon. Uh, it's not heavy on that jasmine fragrance at all. It's more of just like a light apple melon scent. Yeah, and it's, it's like I said, it's very, very light. So I'm not quite sure what kind of throw this candle will have. But on cold, it's kind of... Um, hard to smell that candle. And the last candle in this collection is the coconut beech wood with the coconuts and palm fronds. This is coconut shells, teak wood, creamy sandalwood, and vanilla. Oh yeah, this smells like a classic coconut sandalwood candle. Reminds me a lot of Bath and Body Works coconut sandalwood that they have. Mmm, smells really good, tropical, heavy on the coconut. I'm ready for summer, you guys, with these tropical candles. Now I'm in the mood for some sunshine and warmer weather. It's such a treat, though, to have these candles when it's so cold, and I'm looking forward to trying out these candles. Like I said, I didn't buy uh, the tropical collection last year from Goose Creek, so these candles, even though many of them are repackages, they're all new to me, so... I am looking forward to trying them out. If you have any of these tropical candles, please leave comments down below. Let me know what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>